Hey guys, today we are going to talk about six planeswalkers and their interesting artwork, I would say, for the planeswalkers. So we get Jace, Lily, Nissa, Chandra, Gideon, and Nicol Bolas, and these are all relatively new. And outside of Jace, it looks like Jace is from Shadows over Innistrad. Uh, Chandra is from Kaladesh, Lily and Nisser, I believe are from Amriket, as well as Gideon, and Nicol Bolas is from the newest set, Our Devastation, so they will have some time before they rotate out, although Jace will be the first. So what do I think about these cards? They are definitely collector's items, and they're definitely very unique. I don't personally believe they are for me. I guess we gotta get this right out of the way. What does it cost for these six cards? It costs $80, no, $180. Well, I misread it, I was like, wow, $80 is a pretty good deal. $180 or $30 a card. Now, some of them are not as good as other ones, like Jace is, wouldn't be something I would want. Chandra would be something I wanted. Gideon, the artwork on Gideon looks kind of strange. You can see there's a crack in Gideon. And Lily looks good, but her head looks like she broke her head, like, or, huh. Nisser I like, and obviously Nicol Bolas, Godfair, is good, very good. So the question is, is, are they worth $180? The answer is always yes, because there will be always someone who will buy for you for 200 or more. Now, I'm... Not the biggest fan of these collectors, planeswalkers, and these chase things because once you break them apart, they're not as special. Although I can kind of see the five going together and then Nicol Bolas being broken apart separately and maybe sold to other people. In EDH, they do have very unique artwork. One thing you cannot criticize them is taking artistic creativity and pushing the boundaries of it in Amaket. From the invocations to these planeswalkers, you can see that they really pushed what a art is in Magic Gathering. And I think that's good. Sometimes it's gonna fail, sometimes it's not going to be the most beautiful piece of artwork, but it's good that they tried. It's important that they tried. I don't know, I think it's okay. $180 and the fact that you have to go to a exclusive event. Um, I'm, we're gonna pull up the exclusive event very soon. I think it's Hascon or San Diego Comic Con. I forget which one this is. Uh, maybe you can buy them in both, to be quite honest. That would probably make the most sense if you could buy them in both of them. So overall, a very, very beautiful set. In my opinion, it's not for me. Uh, definitely not for me. But at the same time, I could see why people would want to buy it, and I could see why people would want to collect it. The, the question here is, if we have more product, and does that product have to be available or priced for everyone? And the answer is no. Um, this product is not meant for someone who is more casual, and it's not meant for someone who would be afraid to pay $180 for this card or for these cards. Now, I did like the black on white, or what was it, black on black. I thought that was pretty cool, and that was a very beautiful artistic design, but the zombie one was kind of creative, and this one is really out there in terms of creativity, in terms of, like, it just kind of looks different. Like, I don't know, like, I've never seen artwork like this before in Magic. Maybe someone can, uh, it's 2D, right? It's like a 2D artwork by design. So it is, oh, it's a San Diego Comic-Con and it was published a few days ago, but we really didn't have the pictures we do today, the high quality resolutions. Definitely $180, well worth it. If you're in San Diego Comic-Con, you probably should pick one of these up. I know the lines for this are very long. There are some people who go to San Diego Comic-Con and you have a list of products they can resell. I know one particular person who pretends he's a cosplayer, but he really isn't. Like he just buys it on eBay. 
Uh, his name is Joshua. I'm not going to say his last name because I want, I'm not going to call him out. The name is Joshua something something. And the way I found him was I was trying to pick up this set, but he makes it a career of going to these events and picking up these multiple. Somehow he accumulated 20 of these last year. Like 20 of them. And every year, like it's on his Instagram, every year he accumulates 20. I'm not sure how. Like maybe he gets like goes in line and pays people to go in line for him and then he accumulates them. But he does very well. Like I didn't realize there was a specific business. So he has a obviously online eBay store. There was a specific business where the model was you go to these events and you stand in line or I assume that you pay people to stay in line and you just go to these to get these exclusive collectibles that you know will be more valuable because they are exclusive. Uh, some Funko ones are quite valuable. I like when you see like his picture on Instagram, it's just like a bunch of like stuff. It's like all this stuff, like whatever he can get his hands on. And this has been a prime target for magic players and non magic players alike. One of the issues here is non magic players know this is valuable as well. So he does not play magic, but he gets his hands on lots and lots of these to resell because there's obviously a profit margin on them. So San Diego Comic Con exclusive, uh, it will be for $180. You also get some type of image of Nico Boles, I guess. And yeah, that's all you get. You get the six planeswalkers and then you get the uh, screen print of Nico Boles produced in collaboration. So pretty much you're paying $30 a planeswalker. To summarize it, is it worth it? Yes, because <laughs> someone will buy more, pay more for it. But if this was not an exclusive, if this was more like from the vault and they were trying to charge 180 for it, I don't think it would fly. But hey, this is interesting to say the least. Anyway, that's it guys, bye.